I had a Celsius, some M&Ms, and some cookies today. All right, guys, so we made it to the tailgating. 2025, it's gonna be the traveling year. And then she says, not pick you guys up i know it's been um it's been a few days and so i um, just got off of work but unfortunately i'm on my way to the hospital i have a family member that's not feeling well so i'm gonna go and um check on her see how she's doing and um today i work 6 to 2 30 and lord lord i'm so darn sleepy baby i've been um I had a Celsius, some M&Ms, and some cookies today. So I'm like literally just uh, right now. So um, I should have did it, but I did. But I was trying my best to stay awake. And I really can't have, oh Lord. Woo, I'm back y'all. Oh my God, if you are not from Dallas, you would not understand the traffic here. It's, I remember like back in Chicago, you used to drive or get hit like one or the other. With Texas, you mess around and miss your exit. Baby, it's a wrap. You got to go all around and then some. So anywho, um, hubby just sent the directions uh, to the hospital so um, I can um, find it on my own because that's a whole different subject. So anyway, so... Um, yeah, so I've had too much caffeine today, so I am like literally like like shaking like a leaf. Like I have uh, palpitations right now, like really super super bad. So I need to calm myself down. So anyway, guys, um, I know I've been late on getting videos out, and I got a video now that um, by the time this one goes out, it probably have already gone out. So make sure you guys continue to support um, the videos, which I appreciate. Today is Boss's Day, and I got a nice little gift, you know, from my team. And it's so funny because um, one of my employees who gave me the, the gift, it's like, how did you know that that is the lip mask that I use? She said, oh, because I've seen it on your desk, and I use it too. Girl, it ain't cheap. But I'm like, okay, thank you. So I thought that was very nice. But um, anyway, um, everything is going good with the job. I have no complaints or anything like that. And thank you guys again for all your support. I'm not going to stop thanking you guys because know without you guys I couldn't make this channel be what it is but girl babe I don't have this wig on for two weeks now and I'm sure it's busted and disgusted oh why you turn the heat off in this thing Man, I'm cooking but um yeah so now in Texas the Lord done finally turned down the heat child because it, it's it's cooler now but the problem is all my winter clothes that I had last year were clothes I kind of had like kind of like before and I'm like oh I can mask them I can wear them you know you know try to fix them up because you know I lost the weight and stuff like that but baby not this year it ain't happening captain so I gotta um, replenish the wardrobe with some winter wear because I don't have it and um, I realized that um, I never did a update or final on my Monjero when I was thinking Monjero and if you guys don't know anything about that go back and look at my previous videos because I did take Monjero for like three months and also too I gotta do an update on my breast implant so I'm behind so we're gonna do some mocktail conversations on those two uh, subjects just in case somebody you know is curious and also too is thinking about uh, doing one or the other or both um, so you guys will know what my experience uh, was with that and happy to announce their good experience but we'll talk about that so I'm gonna go ahead and concentrate and try to figure out where the heck I'm at and get myself to where I need to be so I'm gonna pick y'all girls back up all right so I made it to my destination so I'm waiting for a hubby to pull up oh lord the car be scanning me so I'm waiting for him to pull up. Um, he's on the other side of the hospital and I am in front. And so he is 
child doing something with that, with that app. And he gonna locate me because I'm not giving up my good parking spot. Look at this parking lot. This parking lot is full of cars. So I'm just gonna wait for him to come and um, find me. And then we're gonna go up there and uh, visit my family member. Um, I don't wanna say her name because, you know, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't my business to put that out there. So, ooh, y'all, it's so windy. And look, I got my jacket in my hand, my sweater, cause y'all know I get cold. So all my cold people, <laughs> leave me a comment below. Cause it's cold, we cold all year round. So, I don't see him. Ooh, the sun is glaring. I don't see him. So I am going to pick you girls back up as soon as we find each other. I hope we at the right spot. Because I went just where the GPS told me to go. So, okay, let me look for him. I'm gonna pick y'all back up and, uh, in a minute. Oh, Tower 8, right there. Mm. All right, so we made it. I'm not gonna film going inside, but we made it to the, head to the hospital. So now we're gonna go ahead and head up to the tower. Yeah. All right, guys, so um, we just left the hospital. Ooh, it's bright. We just left the hospital, everything is good. So now we are at Maggioni's Little Italy, get something to eat. And then um, we're going to head home. Everybody, happy Thursday. I am picking you guys up for the first time. Just released the video, so hope you guys um, check out the video. So right now, hubby and I are at, at the hotel. No child, we ain't, you know, we got a house. We ain't gotta be sneaking and, and creeping. But um, we're gonna do this little seminar thing about um, uh, cruise ships. So I don't know if it's kind of like a package thing or whatever it is. So we're going to do that um, just to see what it's about get out the house because we do plan on taking some cruises next year because y'all already know I'm trying to get on the carnival cruise baby I want to get on the ratchets one they got okay so we're gonna do that but child child I am not one to be talking about people's business I don't like getting people business but today I watched um the video from safari you know safari from love and hip-hop and he married um crazy Erica Mena and you know I, I hate to call the lady crazy but the lady is touched but baby looking at that video oh my god but see here's my thing I ain't trying to fault nobody but he knew Erica's reputation before that she was feisty okay and I don't know what made him think that she would be any different I don't know that but now that they, they got married and they had the two kids you know so now it should be focused on the kids but baby this this chick put a ladder to his fence went over the fence and was knocking on the on the on the glass part 
just crazy. And another part I didn't like was that she was at his house and I guess she was mad at him and she was pulling on him, trying to pull the stuff out of his hand, knocking stuff over and the kids were there to witness this. It's like, don't you realize that, you know, that traumatizes kids? Like, are you serious? Like, seriously, are you serious? So, it just did something to me. So my question to you all are, let me, um, give me another place because um, it's too much talking. Ooh, it's a little bright. So my thing is this. When I was dating, like when my kids were younger, I didn't do a lot of dating, but I did not let a lot of guys, you know, come around me or come around my kids. That was a big no-no. And, and if you sniffed and found out where I live and you showed up at my house, oh, you were done. You were done. Like, it was a wrap for me. And so to see the, the kids sitting there witnessing that and that's going to traumatize them for life and then when he did the one video where he said uh, um he showed a little girl and the little girl was like i don't want to go with mommy i ain't gonna say it but i'm gonna say it it's something is going on in that house and to be honest i really think safari need to go get his kids just go get your kids, man, because your kids seem like they're in a dangerous situation. So you guys leave a comment below and let me know what you guys think about that. And let me know, too, like, do y'all let, you know, men or women around your kids if y'all just, I don't know, if you're not seriously dating or if you just, you know, you're doing something and then next you know, you know, they're meeting your kids. Because I'm telling you right now, my, I, my kids can count on one hand and two fingers who they done met. I'm just keeping it real. And I'm really particular about that. I just wish that, you know, that situation get much better because those kids are gonna be traumatized for life. And poor Safari, like, you know, Safari looking bad. And then the girl sent naked pictures of him to his mama and his sister, the girl is sick. But when he said that the little boy don't wanna live with his mom because if he, if he lived with his mom, he would unalive himself, what? You gotta be a mean son of a, mm, to do that, you know, for a kid don't want to be around you. So let me get up in here to this little seminar thing right quick, um, see what it's all about. But I'm going to pick y'all back up later. And please forgive me on that last video because, baby, the Sony ZV-1 was just, it wasn't cooperating. It just wasn't. So I want to get a new camera, but y'all, I ain't got like a G laying around, y'all. I ain't got no G. So let me get up in here and let me see what's going on. And if I can film, I will. If I can't, I can't. But I'm gonna pick y'all up a little bit later. All right, guys, so we just left the, um, it wasn't a timeshare, it was a vacation package type of deal. And I ain't gonna lie, it sounds real good. Like, it sounds really, really, really good. So um, they wouldn't let me film in there, so I couldn't film. I, I was gonna sneak and try, but we was front row and center and I would have been busted. So um, hubby and I are gonna go home and think about it and see what we can kind of pull money from if we decide to do this. But um, 2025, it's gonna be the traveling year. Now I know I got a nine to five and I wanna get so many days in vacation but we're gonna do a lot of um, like weekend getaways. You know what I mean? I can take a Friday off or take a Monday off, you know, play around with it like that. But um, yeah, because the goal in 2025 is to vacation. So yeah, actually the Sony ZV-1 is doing all right tonight now. The last video, it did not. And I'm so embarrassed because it looked at a hot mess, but I wanted to, Put that video out because i think it had a great message you know what i'm saying and um leave a comment below if you guys did watch that video and if you are registered to vote and um if you plan on voting you know you ain't gotta tell me who it is because it ain't none of my business like who i vote for ain't none of your business I, i'm not i ain't i'm not sharing that but yeah so we are just going to go ahead and head back home. It's a beautiful night. It ain't a beautiful night. I just lied because it's cold. Right now, it is 66 degrees in Texas, and it's cold. Now, some of y'all may not think it's cold, but it's cold to me because I got my sweater on, and then I got my sweatshirt on. Y'all see my sweatshirt? I got a sweatshirt on, and I am freezing. So all my low iron girls holler back at me because I know we suffering right now. I know we suffering. But anywho, let me... um. I'm about to move this car, so y'all know when I move this car, I get real black. Y'all ain't gonna be able to see me. 
so let me pick you guys up when I get home and tomorrow is Friday and I do work from home so y'all might see me in my robe tomorrow you know cuz it ain't I'm not getting dressed up for nobody and I'm working from home so I will catch you gals uh, later and uh, yeah good morning good morning good morning everyone happy Saturday so y'all can see I am up um it is around 8 13 in the morning and um i'm getting jersey's breakfast together but he's been like wheezing like like something that's caught in his throat um he did that yesterday and we thought maybe he was fine and then he cleared it up but now he's back doing it again so i'm gonna go ahead and fix his breakfast and then um we're having coffee with mm -mm -mm today and then after that, we're going to go to a tailgating. I've never been to a tailgating before, so we're going to probably do the outside. Um, we're probably not going to stay for the game, but they're going to start tailgating around 10 o'clock. And baby, it's cold. Alexa, what's the temperature outside? Good morning, Connie. Right now, it's 56 degrees Fahrenheit. It is 56 all right, so it's 56 degrees right now in Texas, and um, it's going to get up to 81 degrees today. So let me go ahead and get Jersey's breakfast together and get my stuff together. And then um, I will pick you guys back up once I start getting my stuff together. So, ciao. trying to figure out what I'm gonna put on today so because it's like 56 degrees I think I'm gonna put on some um, like a cat suit or something and then just probably put uh, some kind of a sweater over it because in Texas I really don't know how to dress like I'm for real for real like it'd be hot it'd be cold and it's just it's just like crazy like I don't know I thought Chicago weather was crazy, but Texas weather is off the chains. Like, you be hot and then it'll go to extreme cold and then it'll get hot again. So it's kind of crazy. So today I'm just gonna wear something simple and then put on my combat boots because it's still morning. So I can get away with that. Now for the tailgating, I'm not sure what I'm gonna wear. So, mm, I don't know y'all. This cat suit, it's got, um, well not really a cat suit because it's got a turtle, I mean a um, body suit. I hate the ones with body suits, like I hate body suits. Like, I'm, I'm not a fan of body suits. But there is a body suit on Amazon that I need to order because it's gonna go perfect with this outfit that I'm trying to put together, but mm, we'll see. So maybe I'll just throw this on with Boots. Need a jacket. Where my black jacket is. Anyhow, so I'm gonna go ahead and chop, hop in the shower right quick. This is gonna have to do for now. All right, guys. So this is gonna be the outfit of the day. I am wearing this cardigan that I've gotten from. Um, I got this from Target and this two-piece collection, which is a bodysuit and then the um, the leggings. I got these from the Matt collection. And you can see these are my boots that I've gotten from Amazon. Like I'm wearing is from Shein. 
and then I've got my Shein bracelet and of course my Apple Watch. So I am all dressed and ready to go and you guys know that with these types of friends I do not film because I protect their privacy but baby we got to talk when I get back because honey somebody DM me and was talking about my marriage honey but uh let me get my stuff together and um get up out of here so I can go have coffee with my neighbors and then baby you know what that might be a mocktail anyway we'll talk about it so I'll see y'all in a few all right y'all so I made it back from coffee and this time you guys I got a um a vanilla matcha what oh my god it was so good so right now I'm letting Jersey out but um I'm gonna sit and talk to y'all for a minute and I hope it's not too bright out here so I wanted to um I'm outside in the backyard y'all so I wanted to talk to y'all for something that's been kind of bothering me so I know uh somebody has slid into my DM and they sent me a message hey Bill I'm outside filming I know you did not say that. I was just, okay, go ahead. Yeah. What you got going on? You want me? To... No, I just want to know if you think we should take that little red cooler just to have some ice and water. If you want to, because I don't know if we're going to be staying, but you yeah. know, if you want to. So anyway, guys, so um, somebody had reached out to my DM. They was like, oh, you know, I really like your channel. I like that you, you know, what you stand for and yada, yada, yada. So I'm like, oh, you know, I'm at this point. I'm like, oh, okay, great. You know, somebody likes my channel. They like what I'm doing. They see the hard work that I'm putting in. And then she says, well, I think you should concentrate more on your marriage and not do all these extra things like being on YouTube and things like that. So I said to myself, hmm, now this conversation go one or two ways, right? And so I, I'm like, you know, what do you mean by that? And then she said, you know, you are a woman of a certain age and that you should um, value the sanctity of marriage. And I'm saying to myself, where is she going with this, you know? And then I'm saying to myself, you need to mind your own business and stay up out of mind. Hmm. And then I got to thinking like, okay, so then I'm asking, you know, like, you know, you know, elaborate more, you know, why are you saying these things, this and another. Then she said, well, you know, I am married and I am around your age and, you know, I make my marriage a priority. I don't do all these other things and this, that and the other. So I'm like, wait a minute now. So then I said, in other words, you're saying that I shouldn't be doing other activities such as what? I said, because you know, I am a wife. Um, I do go to school full time and I work full time and I do, you know, YouTube, you know, um, part time. And so she was saying, well, I think you should really just give up the YouTube because it's really nobody's business um, how you live in your life. Baby, let me tell you something. It took everything in me not to act ugly. I said, but you know what? I'm not gonna act ugly because there's gotta be a message behind that. And I said, first of all, you don't know me and I don't know you. You only see what I allow you to see a portion of my life. You don't see my day to day. You don't see what I do, you know, um, on the weekends or the other activities that I am involved in. And I say, as far as marriage, I said, yes. Marriage is a sanctity and marriage should be cherished. I said, but however, what works for me and my husband may not work for you and your husband. Let's just keep it real. I'm not trying to be nasty, but I'm just trying to keep it real. And then she said, well, I understand why you would say something like that, but I'm just saying that, you know, in my marriage, you know, I make sure I put my husband first. And I said, is this woman trying to give me counseling? Cause my marriage ain't in jeopardy, ma'am. It's not. And I said, well, you know, I think that's great if that works for you and your family. I said, but you can't judge me or you can't put on your beliefs and what you do in your marriage to my marriage or anyone else's marriage because, A, it's none of your business, to be honest. And I said, if you have a problem with me being on social media, maybe this is not the platform for you. I'm just saying, because I'm not going to change until I'm ready to change. My household is working great. Yes, I put on my page how, you know, it was difficult trying to balance life, but I found a remedy to balancing my life. This is my life. This is not your life. And again, if this channel is not for you, then there's other channels that might be for you. And I said, better yet, 
you so worried about me being on social media. Why are you on social media if your marriage is so perfect? Because obviously to me, you got a lot of spare time, ma'am. But thank you so much for watching my channel and thank you so much for being a subscriber. So I said all that to say is that you can't be judging people. You know what I mean? As a YouTuber or an influencer, we show you guys what we want you all to see. You don't see when I get up every morning or go to bed every night or what I'm doing at work or when I'm getting off of work. Sometime I pick you guys back up and I'll say a quick little something and then that's it. I got other stuff to do. I don't carry my camera with me all day long, everywhere I go and everything I do. I don't do that. You guys get a portion of my life. So I'm just saying that maybe like, if you got something to say, and if you feel that it's something that someone can use by all means and if it's constructive by all means you should share that but don't just assume because you see a glimpse of somebody's life you know what they should be doing because ma'am you don't know you don't know i do volunteer work because i don't really show that i think i showed it one time that i did some volunteer work but i when i'm volunteering i'm giving it my hundred percent um attention so I don't know, y'all. I just want to come to y'all and talk to y'all, like, you know, the nerves. But I understand, you know, maybe she was coming from a good place. Maybe she wasn't. I don't know. But I had to let her know that it's all good over here. You know what I mean? I'm, I've managed, you know. So anyway, guys, so we went out to, um, we went out and had coffee to our favorite place, Dark Ritual. And this time, instead of getting a, a lavender matcha, I got a, a vanilla matcha with almond milk on the rocks and it was de freaking licious so now i'm getting ready to go to a quick tailgating party right quick um and so i was debating if i wanted to change my clothes or not but i don't think that i am so let me get up jerseyed out here sunbathing like he normally do <laughs> just call his name he moved and so i'm gonna go and um get the car all packed up because we're not gonna stay long we're just gonna stay just just for a little bit because we got some other things that we got to do today because listen when the weekends come it is just like so jam-packed like so much i gotta try to get done or we get done in these short little time and thank god i got to work from home last thursday and friday and i had to work from home on monday and tuesday so that kind of helps out so let me get myself up get myself ready and then i'll see you guys in a minute <laughs> jersey sunbathing <laughs> jersey hey bud hey bud all right guys we're getting ready to go so i'll see you guys in a few all right guys so we made it to the tailgating so um Texas A&M uh, Conference. So a um, friend of mine, she invited us out just to the tailgating part. We're not gonna stay for the game because we got other stuff we gotta take care of, but it's a nice day. I got my Chicago shirt on, and we're gonna see what it's about. Now, you're gonna have like a lot of um, muting because they have a lot of music out there playing, so I'm gonna go ahead and just overlap that with my own music. So, see y'all in a minute. As you can see, we now have shelves on each side of our fireplace. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do now is just go and find something to put on the shelves because my husband can't do bear. <laughs> it's been what, two days? No, you put him up on yesterday. 
Oh, was it yeah, Thursday? We gotta put something on the chat. So we gotta find something to put up there. Um, I'm gonna pull up Pinterest right quick to see what they have, but we're gonna go to like the Hobby Lobby. I'm hoping we go to TJ Maxx. I need some stuff over there, but whatever. And some Ross. So let me get my purse, my shoes, and we're going to head out to get something on the shelves. So now I am at the spices. Um, we need olive oil. No, we need cooking oil. Cooking oil? Yeah, oil. Like frying stuff, we're, we're low on that. Yeah, get that probably at um, Walmart or something. I don't think they have that here. Yeah, they got pasta. Okay, so we've already got the, the chicken butter. That's good. Um, Wait a minute, you can cook a meal here. Yeah. Fuck, I didn't know that. Yep, we already got the lemon pepper. We got that. Um, garlic. Do we need some garlic? That's garlic granules. I like the garlic powder. Um, I think I got cumin. What's down here? Margarita tequila. What in the heck? Oh my God. Cinnamon sticks. I never had cinnamon sticks before. Mm. You know what? Why don't we get some of this and get some some sauce and just make a little light dinner tonight from right here? Okay. I would love that. Okay. Really? So you want the egg pasta or organic pasta? Which pasta do you want? It don't matter. Cause this is like a lot of fun. This is something we could do. Okay. So pasta and then um, we need some sauce, pizza sauce. What is naked? Infused marinara and pizza sauce? That sounds kind of good. Yeah, just have a pasta dinner. I don't yeah, need so no meat. Let's some um, pasta tonight. I gotta buy a matcha kit. My cousin has a nice little matcha kit. This is like 10 bucks. All right, let me look at one more thing. Oh, look at this. Peppermint crunch. That'd be good for a drink. Mm. All right. Oh, I'm looking for those crackers. That's what I'm looking for. The rich people crackers. I got them from here. Where are the rich people crackers? Oh, do you remember where you got them? I think it was somewhere in this area, but... Mmm. I don't see them. I don't see them. Mm. I like those rich people crackers. Are you quit saying that? That's what they are. They rich people crackers. Mm. Now I might have to look at the little spices because I'm looking for a certain spice. I can't help myself. I love spices. So let's find, oh, we're also gonna look for some pillows too at Home Goods. So I think this is all that kitchen stuff. Grout cleaner. And, um, yeah. yeah. I'm looking for a grout cleaner. Laundry. Might be a I'm gonna grab a scrub daddy. And, yeah, toilet cleaner, stain eliminate. I don't see any grout cleaner. Yeah. The Zep. The Zep is really good, but they didn't have any of that. Yeah. I might have to go to Walmart and probably get that. But so I was looking like at this, babe. Look. Maybe we can find like some of something like that Ooh, to nice. put on there. Yeah, I like that. Um just like different things. Um, I don't know. This is kind of cute. 16 bucks, but do we want fit? gold. I mean, this is a gr this, 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 this will fit up there. That piece on the bottom is kind of cute. Uh, ooh. No? Okay. That's cute. That's cute? Okay. Yeah. So we can keep looking because. Oh, this is nice. That is kind of nice. Yes. This is, this is yeah. Mm, you like those? I do like them. Okay, so y'all know I'm trying to make a coffee slash liquor bar, right, in my home. And it's cute. Why don't you tear that up? Oh my God, this is so cute. And look, it is $499. Oh, 
Oh my God, this is cute. But is it black or is it, is it a funny looking black? It's not like a black black. Oh, and then it's it's kind of dented right there, so that's not going to work. All right. Because it knows what you say about it. Yep. And then. Seriously, I'm going to work for her. Okay. All right, y'all, so we at the T, the J, and the Max, and I ain't got no business looking over here. Ooh, that maraschino purse is cute. Cashier number eight, please. Maraschino, oh my God. It's 129. It's nice. Oh, That's too much. It's a cute Michael Kors, little Kors. 109. All right, try to find these pillows at all this nice Christmas stuff out got. Nope, TJ Maxx not playing with you. Mm -mm. All right guys, so TJ Maxx was a bus. So we're gonna have the Tesla to come and pick us up. So here it is. It's picking us up and there's nobody in it. There's like nobody in the car. There it is. One day the car wake up and decide to drive off. Have you ever thought about that? <laughs> you said it works? Yeah. You say it's creepy? Creepy. Throws itself in the park and everything. Um. Hmm. So, so far that's what we have. I think it's kind of cute. I really like this right here. I like that. So we'll probably find some little small pieces to, you know, kind of add in there, make it look more interesting. I do have a couple of pieces left over and I don't know what to do with them. So let me show you what we have. So this is what we have here, here. No, we're going to take them back. We don't oh. need this. It's not oh, going to match with the other two bathrooms. I ain't know if you want to keep them up there. So, and then, I don't know, for some reason, I really like this. I like this. the rings too, but I don't know where to put it. Um, all right, guys. So let me finish this up and I'll pick you guys oh, back you up in a minute. Okay, so while I'm waiting for my phone to charge up, I got Amazon packages. And let me see what this is. Oh, this, this is for um, my DJI. The DJI Osmo 3, it's like a stand for it to sit in there. Um, I'll pull my DJI out in a minute and I'll show you guys how this is. So that's for that. And the DJI is pretty much, now I'm gonna be using it more for filming because it is, it's number one right now. And it's like, I think the reason why I don't really use it is because um, the screen is so small and then like with the Sony ZV-1, I can, you know, I can flip it to where I can see myself. And that way I can see if things are in, um, focus or not in focus or things like that. So yeah. So this, oh, yeah. This is a biker's jacket um, that I got and I'll, all right, so I got this biker jacket and I bought it because I like the color of it. So here's my biker's jacket. It's like a like a burnt orange. So let's try it on right quick. Just turn y'all around a little bit because that door window is um is bright. So I did get this in a size small, so I'm wondering if I need to size up maybe. No. 
Nah, I gotta size up. So I'm gonna send this back and get this in the size medium. I mean, it's nice. Pretty, the color's nice, but look at this leaves. Short. So I'm gonna send this one back to Amazon and I'm gonna size up to a medium. Love it, but it ain't gonna work. So let me get this stuff together and then um, I'll see y'all in a minute. Good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday. I'm just not picking you guys back up. Um, Jersey's not feeling well at all. He's been wheezing and you know, like, <laughs> He's been like doing that because I don't know if there's something stuck in his throat, but he's eating, he's um, drinking water, he's going to the bathroom, he's still active, but he's been doing that wheezing thing. So I don't know, y'all, I'm just, I'm worried about him. I'm worried about him. Um, so we were gonna take him to the vet today, but it's not to the point to where he's not functioning. So he is functioning, he's fine, he's breathing, so. If I seem a little down today, it's because my bubba, he ain't, he ain't feeling well, y'all. So send him some prayers. Let him know you guys love him. But um, tomorrow, hubby's going to take him over to the vet to see what's going on with him. But anywho, um, I am finally up. And um, lately, I have not had any energy. Like, my energy has been like, it sucks. Like, I, like right now, I don't have any energy. I had a little bit of coffee it's not up. And so hubby made a point. He said, do you think maybe when you had your adrenal gland surgery that maybe that kind of zapped your energy? He said, because ever since then, and I had that back in 2019, he said, you have not had good energy. You have to take like drink Celsius or drink coffee or just take vitamin B. You have to just do something to keep yourself going. I'm like, that is a good question. So I'm going to contact my physician tomorrow to say, hey, and of course, I'm going to do some research to say, to see if that could be a possibility. And if so, what is the cure from that? Because I gotta have my energy. And also too, I have not been working out like I should. So I'm gonna go back to doing that, at least walking on the treadmill and trying to get my metabolism up. So maybe it's a metabolism issue. So who knows? So we're gonna go back to home goods. And these are the things we have left to um, take back because we haven't used. Well, anyway, it's in that bag. So this bag has gotta go back. But Overall, show you guys again, I really think we did a really good job of just adding those pieces up there. I really do love the books. I think the books are really great. And um, on the other side is that, now keep in mind, we're gonna add some more things to it because it's like, it's like kind of empty like right there and right there. So we're gonna add things to it. But we're really into like trying to get our home fixed up because it's our home and it's about time. So let me get Jersey taken care of and get him all cleaned up because he just went to the bathroom and y'all, y'all know when Jersey go to the bathroom, he got to get the wipe down. <laughs> so let me get that taken care of. And um, yeah, and we just got back from Cracker Barrel, guys. We went to Cracker Barrel to eat, but I didn't had no appetite to eat, y'all. I didn't even want to film it because we didn't really eat too much. But anywho, let me get Jersey taken care of, and I'm gonna pick you guys up in a minute. And remember, we went to Bath and Body Works last night. We got the laundry detergent, so I gotta do laundry, and um, I'll let y'all know how that turns out. So, see y'all in a few. All right, guys, I am back at um, Home Goods. I'm gonna go ahead and return the vases that we didn't use, and um, I don't know if hubby gonna look around or not, but. Let me get in the store and uh, get this return. And then we gotta go home and do laundry because I wanna use my new laundry detergent. Okay guys, we are at Kirkland's. Aren't these adorable? Look at these. I think I want these. These are so cute. And they are on sale. They are $8.99 with 30% off. I look, I, this, will, this will help me control my liquor. Okay guys, so I am in my laundry room and I'm about to, that's the dryer going off. So I'm about to do um, another load of clothes, but I wanted to show you first what I've gotten for Bath and Body Works. Now I heard about they had detergents and I wasn't really sure which ones to buy, but I think I saw an either Platinum D or was TikTok or somebody and they had some scents and knowing me, I copied, you know, I, I took a picture of it, but when I went to Bath and Body Works last night, I had a picture. So let me show you the two that I've gotten. I did get this one. This is the Sun Drenched Linen, linen and it's blue. And it looks like this. 
And this stuff smells very, very, very good. It's a nice, clean um, scent. And then the second one I got is the uh, Mahogany Teakwood. And it looks like this. And there's the name of it. And this one right here, this one smells, smells amazing. So let me go ahead and start on my laundry. I'm gonna go ahead and do I'm gonna do this big blanket first because I want to see how it smells. So I'm just concerned about is it gonna be like too many smells because I got like the detergent and then I have like the fabric softener. Is it gonna like knock it off? I don't know. But I don't know if all of this is, you know what? I'm just gonna use this right now for the detergent just to see what the blanket smells like and see if the blanket gets clean. And then I will put a fabric softener in there too. So I'm hoping it doesn't mess up the scent, but let's just see how it goes, child. let the clothes wash and then um, once they get out the washer I'm going to smell them and let you guys know that a if it's a hit or if it's a mint so I'll pick you guys back up as soon as the laundry is done okay, so I took the blanket out the washer and it's still wet and you can smell it you can smell the teak wood it's not very strong and it seems to be pretty clean so overall um, I like the Bath and Body Work detergent, but it's not a very strong scent. You can smell a hint of it. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, put my wet blanket um, in the dryer. And this is gonna conclude the vlog for this week. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you have not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. And I, and, and also give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs up and leave a comment below. Let me know what your favorite part of the video was. Until next time, I'll Catch you on the next one. Bye.